all right what is going on today folks back with some more fur hire re uh some not replays but some fur hire plays i feel like he's gonna yeah i feel like he was gonna go scissors um yeah man we're gonna see how better that that can get um okay so with that being said i could take the risk i feel like taking the risk is a little good um all right so let's try to take the risk oh damn it some of the wrong one ah oh, god some of the wrong guy well fuck it well we're gonna have to work with this um i don't know if i want to discard this though yeah we'll discard it it doesn't really matter it doesn't really matter we'll discard it let's see what we draw into Ooh, a pot of desire so that was actually actually we should should we thin out first nah we should just do this first Ooh, that kind of sucks um no nah, we can work with it we can work with it let's go full goal um yes activate four gore specimen beat beat can then see then i can specimen beat then i can soul charge and then get Raphael. yeah let's get beat then we can soul charge for three we still charge for three. Doesn't really matter. Um, they're all gonna leave anyways, and then we go right there. And beat with search will get us a young Raphael. And then uh, let me see. What do we banish here? Two call by the graves of reasoning. One moral tech. Double ash. A sanctum and a ghost ogre. Um, that's fine. It's absolutely fine. Go that activate Raphael one, two, three, and four. Oh, five. Okay, so um, we guess we got to get this. We got to get this, and we see if we can monster reborn this back on the field. So, so we can go. What does this one do? That target sets. And this, I think we can go one, two, three, four. Actually, we could just use these four to go. What's the name? Yeah. You can use all of these four to go uh, skull deep. We can go skull deep over there. Activate that. And um, all right, there we go. One, two, and no, wait, two. What does this do? Uh, hmm. it, I know what it sounds like, but I think my sweet born actually has to go fucking back. Ah, oh, that's sad. That's that's how you know this play is busted. Is this when you got to put a monster reborn back? That's actually really ridiculous. Um, so we'll do that. Uh, we'll set this and we'll set this. All right, there we go. Now we don't have we don't <laughs> we don't have anything as of right now, but we could damn sure get to something. Um, uh, yeah, we could definitely do something. We definitely, I guess, special in beat in here. Are you serious? Who plays Dark Hole? Can y'all please let me know? I, you know what? I probably should have summoned that girl. Dude, why the fuck am I? Who plays Dark Hole? God damn, dog. I, I see. Look, this is what I'm talking about. This is so fucking unfair. I'm playing against random bullshit. It always happens every time I build a great board. Play against some random bullshit that makes no fucking sense. Ah. <sighs> Just gotta play against some random bullshit. Just have to play against some random bullshit that makes no fucking sense. And it doesn't make sense. And I don't care what anybody says. It doesn't make any type of sense. It doesn't make no fucking sense why this made... Like, that's like the fourth time that didn't happen. Like, uh, every time I build this board, somebody regekies their dark holes. And all of a sudden, everybody is playing these fucking cards that don't nobody play anymore. I don't care if you evenly match. I'm just gonna banish Moral Tech. It's so unfair. Why is that? I always, it always happens. It never fails. It always fucking happens. But it's okay, man. It, it, it's okay. We, we had, a, had a god hand, and we just got abused because for some reason, people main Dark Holes and Regekis. Every time I play full hi Fur Hires, every time I play Fur Hires, somebody has a Regeki for me. Why are you doing that? It's the weirdest thing I've ever... Why? What is, what, what is the point of this? Sea Monster of Theseus. Do you see what I'm talking about? Like, are you kidding me? 
And then now I kept an effect veiler against a damn normal deck. And he's gonna go needle fiber here. Wow, that's that's weird. What are you targeting, sir? Uh we'll just effect veiler. Let's see how far I get with this. So unfair, man. It's so unfair when you gotta deal with this random shit like this that makes no sense. What does this one do? That's fine. Ooh. So we activate this, we'll target the beat. Watch him have something for it. Watch. Watch. Just watch. Watch. Watch him have something for it. Watch. It just never fails here. Never fails. And this guy is going to get me the, uh... Hmm. So I can go full war with this. Hmm. I can go four gore, get another one out, and special summon this. But four gore is uh, how much? Four gore is only 24, so I have to get this? No, I could special summon this. So we'll grab, we'll grab Raphael. Oh, God. We'll grab Raphael. If we get full gourd, I mean, that's just nothing we can do about that. I mean, if he has something for this, then so be it, sir. So fucking be it. So be it. So be it if you have something. I just can't beat you. You're just too fucking good for me. You're just too goddamn good. And I don't know how to beat you. I don't know how to win, folks. Um, What is the one that adds from the graveyard? This one? Target one forever, I add to your graveyard to your hand. Let's see. Let's see how many mirror forces we run into, folks. And <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll activate that. We'll activate that. Um, cause we haven't normal summoned yet, so we'll, no. Actually, yeah, we'll do one, two. But since we haven't normal summoned, let's add. This is the set one, right? Why can't I? Re oh, there we go. Yeah, we'll get this. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we'll get this. If we can, if we hit any basically besides that, any other fur hire besides that, we would be fine. I feel like he has a fiendish chain or some shit down there. Um, we've already activated this, and uh, yeah, we have to get this, I guess. We should probably throw that dreadnought shit in here. I believe I, hey, I have a normal summon, so here we go. We just special summon this. Let's pop this, and we get to draw three cards. Um, I don't know what the fuck he might have, but... Oh, it's Scapegoat. That's fine. I'm still gonna draw... <laughs> still gonna draw three. Like, this. Just, like, it's not gonna prevent me from not drawing three, so... That means he can't summon. So what, what can we go into now? Hmm. We can't go Dweller, but I don't think this... Oh, wait. We should just go Dweller. We go Dweller and negate this. Just, just to negate it. We'll go Dweller just to negate it. <clears throat> Shout out to my boy Canelo for playing Dweller. <laughs> oh, that's fucking hilarious. Um, all right, so let's just do this. Tack over that. And this trigger, right? Yeah, we'll draw three. That's so fucking good. Um, okay, so do we care about this? He doesn't have any tuners, and we can negate anything we would like, so... Um, actually, no, the, the, this is clearly the smart choice. Leaving him with, no, with nothing with, is, is the better choice. Leaving him with, you know, one normal monster is fine. And we also have the fur hire right there, so we can actually bring back the guy. We actually bring back another Raphael, to be honest with you, if we felt like it. We, just, we can just bring back another Raphael. Um... You know what? Since people love to have fucking the best cards in a game, we're just gonna get this back. I'm so goddamn scared. Because people love to have the best cards in a goddamn game. So, I mean, I, I can't help that. I can't help that people love to have Regek. There we go. All right. Jesus Christ, man. It's like the tenth time we done ran to Regek or something. I don't know what to do. I keep building these great boards, and my opponent keeps doing random shit. It hurts. All right, so we should be back on live. Damn it, we have lost the hand shaking things, but our opponent has let us go first. Ooh, so we'll just normal summon this. 
and hopefully we hit an actual monster. <laughs> hopefully we hit an actual monster because we'll be we'll be we'll be in the right set of we'll be in the right stages right now. Oh my god! Hopefully we hit something good. I don't know what I could actually get, but I need something good. Raphael would not be too good right now. Oh no, no, Raphael actually would be good. He's probably gonna call eight because he doesn't want me to hit Raphael. Don't call four, because I mean I play what two fours in the deck, and I don't want to hit it. No, I play two different set. I play three. No, I play two, two. I think two of the ones that have in the graveyard, and then the other ones. What the fuck is this? I want to play against this boo boo. It's called a monster. I don't even know why you would do that right now. What's the fucking the point of that? Did he really call three? Um, I guess Raphael, right? Yeah, because if... No, no, no. We can special summon Raphael. No, if we do that, that is actually stupid. Where's the... Alright, where gets us any type... I think, yeah, Raphael is actually the best one to get right now. Because we can actually search another fur hire or something like that. And then we'll be straight. We'll be straight. Oh, I thought he was going to have a fucking what's the name. That shit would have kind of hurt. Um, beat. All right, then we'll get this. We'll get this. The reason why we're getting this is because of uh, when Fulgore comes out. Um, Fulgore's come out and give me another. Uh, the what's the name? Bam. He'll get me the one that adds from the graveyard, which is this one. I don't know why I keep summoning in these zones, but you guys get my drift. Then we go bam. We get Activate seal. Add. Which one do we want to add back, Raphael or Beat? Um, we we'll add Raphael. No, I should probably add Beat back. Well, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. We'll end our turn like this. We're we'll running straight into another damn dark hole because apparently, dark holes are just you know running around in people's main deck. All right, so we have a good. Oh, I thought it was a dark hole. I was gonna start screaming. I was gonna start screaming. All right, so what do you do when you banish? You know, with Thunder Dragon card, which is fine. Thunder Dragon Fusion. Okay. Does any of this protect itself by uh, destruction? Because I can just go Scythe. Um, should I just go Scythe right here? No, well, I'm going to let him play his cards out. Sure. I think he's going to go into the... I think he may go into the the one that adds. Hopefully he goes into that. That's going to hurt if he doesn't. Oh, he's going into the other one. God damn it. Uh, must be food by banning someone. Okay. When the Thunder Monster effect is activated, you destroy one card on the field. Um, sure. Pretty sure he's going to target my back row here. So if he... Does this target back row? I'm not gonna chain. I'm not gonna chain because it's probably gonna hit one of my back row. Yep. So now, what I can do is um, activate Sanctum's effect to pop this. He's gonna protect it, um, which is 100% fine. But as soon as he summons another monster, as soon as he summons another monster, we're gonna Sanctum. Oh, that fucking sucks. What does this do? Okay. Um, what the fuck? I thought that shit was once per turn. Well, that's that's just fucked up. I thought it was once per turn. I clearly would have. I clearly would have killed this whole shit. I clearly would have got rid of his whole goddamn board. I really thought that. I don't even know why I didn't sight because he then he would have been that would have been end for him. See, I didn't know that shit. I didn't know that shit was not once per turn. I thought this was once per turn, but apparently it isn't. I don't know why it isn't. That doesn't make no type of sense. Um, it's okay. We have a monster reborn, so we should be straight. Should be, but um, Jesus Christ! How many motherfuckers you got? Yeah, I swear, if I knew this shit wasn't once per turn, I, we would actually, I would have won the game, man. I would have clearly would have just sank them right then and there. I would have popped this shit 
and we would have drew three. I didn't know. That's when you. That's why you. That's why you read, folks. But it's okay. We we can still get over this whole entire thing. I think unless he has some cards that I activate on my turn. But then we have Raphael for all that. Zuna's is activated. Jesus Christ. Oh God. Let's see what we draw. Ooh, that's actually really good. Um, so we're gonna activate this. Target full higher. I mean full gore. Put that motherfucker over there. Nope. Then what we'll do here is activate this. He doesn't have a response. We'll chain this guy. What the fuck is that dude? Activation of your th once we turn. It's a good, if the thunder monster normal summon, you can target spell in the trap. All right. So then, where's the one? What does this do? This pops face up cards. All right. So we'll chain this. We'll target. I really want to target beat, but we'll target this. So if he doesn't have a response, I, we should be good. But I'm pretty sure he's gonna have something in his fucking hand because that's just how Yu-Gi-Oh works, folks. No way, he has three Thunder Dragons in his hand, right? I know I'm not tripping. I believe he has three Thunder Dragon in his hand. Either or, activate. I don't know what they're acting for and then yeah so we go one actually we go one two and three it, it would be smart to actually do this one I mean it would actually be smart to do this it would actually be smart to do this just to guarantee this effect but I mean doesn't look, I don't think he has three Thunder Dragons in his hand. Fuck it, we'll go for this. I, I think he has three Thunder Dragons in his hand. As far as I know, he has three. Three or two. Yeah, he did. Okay. I'm clearly getting this. And then we draw three. So that's good. What the fuck does this do? Why would you do that? I would well what are you what are you doing like why would you even do any of this stuff this is terrible what oh shit why did I do that <laughs> Why the fuck did I do that? I just noticed what the fuck I was doing. Oh god. That was dumb. Alright. Wow. That's that's awful. Um what happens with you? Alright. I don't know why I did that. That was just a dumb play on my part. I I, I just shouldn't have did that. That was really just stupid. Where is this Alright, so I actually do like the Thunder Deck. I like it. Um but I don't know. I feel like it, uh, it's a one-trick pony um, because I think if I, yeah, if I, did, I, I don't know. No, I, no, I don't think it's a one-trick pony. I'm not sure. I don't know how I feel about that deck. I, I feel like it's good. It's good support. Um, the tra the spells and traps to make absolutely no sense. The fusion monsters are a little bit overpowered, but I felt like if we once again rate read our stuff, we would have been straight and we would have won that duel with ease because. Did I really draw two fucking artifacts off of a pot of desires? You know how bad that is? <laughs> Do you know how bad that actually is? Um, but yeah, uh, wow, I played three. That's sick, man. I played three of them and I drew two. That's sick. All right, anyways, but um, the Thunder Dragon deck, I don't know. The spells and traps make no sense. And I feel like the boss monsters are pretty good, especially the mistake one, if you're going first. And that, that other one, Jesus Christ, not even once per turn, just whenever a Thunder Monster activates their effects, that one is pretty decent. I like that, but I feel like once people realize, you know, you, when you realize what you're doing, you can just easily.